Hello everyone, you're welcome to another great video. Ike Felim here for the Ike Felim Adventure Series. Okay, today I'm going to be talking about this. Squash. Butternut squash. Something I picked up at a mall, at the supermarket in a mall. I saw these seeds. These are treated seeds. They are imported. And I was like, hi. I have a garden, why not give it a try and see what comes out of it because in this part of the world we don't grow squash. I seldom see squash in the market. It's not one of the popular fruits and vegetables we buy or we cultivate here. So seeing the seeds in the supermarket, treated seeds, I decided to try them out. I bought this pack and according to what is written on it, the seeds are treated, good to go, ready to plant. That's the picture of the fruit of the vegetable when it's mature. So I decided to experiment. I decided to try it out by getting the seed and planting it in my garden. Okay, so some weeks back, I think, like six weeks or eight weeks back, I planted the seeds in my garden and in some areas within my premises. So far, so good. I am quite impressed with how the plant is growing, healthy, thriving, and it's beginning to bloom, bringing out male flowers and the female flowers. So quickly, I'm just gonna take you to where the plants are and show you what I'm doing with this. This is the butternut squash. This is the butternut squash has some other information behind it then i'll show you what the plant is what the crop looks like the vegetable looks like and um, i'll show you the plant it's yet to fruit but it's already flowering and it has the male and female flowers on it already so let's just quickly go over there and see what we have a butternut squash ike fell him adventure in my garden here in nigeria africa i don't know how well this plant will behave in this our climate but there's no harm in trying i saw the seeds i picked it up and it's straight up in my garden let's go check it out okay come with me okay so let me just quickly show you what the seeds look like right here in my palm are seeds from the butternut squash they're like um wild melon seeds here in nigeria like um a goosey we call it a goosey watermelon wild melon more like melon seeds okay so these are the seeds i got in that pack this is the squash plant i planted some weeks ago it's beginning to bloom those right there are the male flowers and you can see insects already inside those insects will do the pollination when the female flowers start to come out the male flowers are the first to bloom they're the first to start popping out before the female flowers these are male flowers So right here, that's a female flower coming up, and that's another female flower. You kind of see the a small squash beneath the flower. That's how you identify the female flowers. They are not long; they just stay short with the stem. And you see the squash, like a baby squash, beneath it. Like this. You see like the baby, this a small squash, then the flower on top. So when this blooms, these insects, the insects right here, these insects, we pollinate. This will take pollens from these male flowers. 
and they'll pollinate the female flower. So it's going to get fertile and the squash is going to develop into a big edible fruit. My squash is doing very fine. It's an experimental project. It's the first time I'm cultivating squash. And it's really working fine. Let's just check and see if we see some other male flowers. Okay, yes, this is a male flower. They have this long stem. They have this long stem. The insects are so happy playing inside. So I have this mesh net system I took from my poultry that I'm not using again. And I just placed it here for the squash to climb like a trellis system. It's gonna serve like a trellis system for the squash. So they have a long way to go upwards. They have a long way to go upwards. So as the squash grows, it will have a solid base. It's really strong and a solid frame to hold on to. And when the heavy fruits start coming out, this stuff is gonna support it easily. This stuff is gonna support the heavy fruits easily. It's gonna be so easy for you to handle the weight of the squash because they can get really heavy and they can get really big. Looking at the leaves of the plant, the plant is really healthy. That's a partridge. That's a partridge crying behind my fence. I have quite a large population of partridge in the wild. They're just there behind my garden. One of these days, I'm going to have them on camera, and we're going to see them. Okay, so now I'm showing you the squash and my experimental project cultivating squash. It's the first time, and all things being fine, everything is working fine. The plant is growing really healthy and growing well. So guys, please do not fail to hit that like button and subscribe. And leave your comments below. And most importantly, have a great day. I'll see you in more videos, okay? Bye-bye.